A fellow YouTuber requested I get some information regarding some of these uh, connectors that are used on the BNK 415 sweep generator. This is uh, the part that goes to the RF out and is used for coupling the sweep signal generator to either the tuner or the IF board or directly at the antenna terminals or what have you. Use one of these BNC style connectors on a cord. It's probably about th I don't know, maybe about three feet long. It's missing it's one of the clips fell off here. I'll have to fix that. But you have a yellow clip and a black clip. This is the output that you actually hook up to the ballon or wherever it is you're hooking up to. Uh, uses a switch, slide switch. Here's the inside parts, which is let's see, get a better light on it here. Uh, it's kind of hard to get. It's used. It looks like it has a dual pole, uh, dual throw slide switch. Uh, it's hard to focus on it. There we go. It has a single discrete component there. That's a capacitor, and from what I can determine, it uses some surface mount devices. They're mounted that little PC board that kind of solders onto the terminals. Frankly, I was kind of surprised to see surface mount stuff. I didn't think this thing was that current, but it was. Uh, what I came up with, the diagram looks like this. You've got your uh, BNC connector, shielded cable. These are representing those terminals on the bottom of that slide switch. Uh, there's a resistor here that's 75 ohms, 120 ohms from this terminal to that terminal. Here's that disc cap, 750 PF, that goes to your yellow lead. The ground shield side of the cable goes to this side. It goes through this little 120 ohm. Uh, that was one of those little surface mount resistors I was able to get in there and read. And that's a little 750 PF as well, surface mount capacitor. I, got, I measured these using my... Uh, cap tester, my old school cap tester, which is usually pretty good about reading these uh, small values. Uh, and that's it. Here's a better representation schematically of what seems to be going on. You have your 75 ohm, when the switch is in the 75 ohm position, you're basically getting a load of 75 ohm across the input. Uh, the ground just goes straight through and you have a 750 PF cap isolating the output. Let's switch to the 300 ohm position. You still have the 75 ohm. It throws in a series connection, 120 ohm resistor, 750 PF cap. These are the two surface mount devices. And you know, this one has a 720 ohm resistor as well. And here goes the uh, 750 PF disc cap. And you can kind of see how that would be if you take the slide connector, if it's moved this way, that's in the 300 ohm section. Basically, when you do that, you have, there's your series resistor, cap, out, resistor, cap, out, and your load. When you switch it this way, when you throw it this way to get the 75 ohm uh, side, you basically short these out so you don't have this anymore. You simply have a you simply have a direct direct connection going there to 750 PF and this one's shorted out which is just the ground straight through. So if you people with the 415s if you want to make one of these up because you know if you don't have it which a lot of them you'll buy they don't have it's a pretty simple schematic I would uh, I would recommend going ahead and doing something either discrete cables for each one and just keeping your short, you know, the components very short. Maybe you, I'm presuming you should use carbon composite resistors as opposed to any other kind. Just I think those are usually specified whenever we're talking about making up these um, these these load these, these lobe pads for uh, RF frequencies. And if you want to get fancy, go ahead and find yourself a slide switch and get a box that'll fit and do it up nice. Anyway, I hope hope this is helpful. Thank you very much.